everyone, it is Sarah, and this week I have a very special guest. It is John. I'm sure many of you recognize John, and today he'll be taking over my channel, sharing 10 things that I haven't done that he has, and telling you guys all about them. It's gonna be really cool stuff. Are you ready to share your top tips? I am ready to take over your channel. This is gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be so awesome. By the way, if you're not following John yet, make sure you to do that. His uh, YouTube channel is linked below. All right, let's get right to let's it. Let's do this. One of the things you've talked about is day trips. And you've done Cold Spring, which I went once, but I've never covered on the channel. What's so awesome about it? Cold Spring is really interesting, and what I like about this day trip is it's just a 90-minute train ride from Grand Central Station. You don't need a car. You hop off the train, and you are in the woods. It's a great thing to do during the fall. There's so many hiking trails there that you could just walk to from the town. Super easy. Look, I'm not the most sporty guy ever. I had no trouble hiking three or four hours. And then when you're done, you can head to the town. It's this cute, quaint little village. Walk around, grab a beer grab some food, uh, do antique or vintage shopping. It is just the perfect fall day trip from New York. It really is. Definitely check it out. He has a whole video on it on his channel. Another awesome thing you've talked about is Fort Tryon Park and the Cloisters. What makes that one so incredible? Well, what I like about Fort Tryon Park is it's not as well known as, let's say, Central Park. Not as well known as Prospect Park. Yeah. It's right under Inwood. It's in Inwood and Hudson Heights, top of Manhattan. So it's pretty secluded, but the paths to walk there, absolutely incredible. And you get these amazing views of the Hudson River just as you're strolling along. You know, bring food, have a picnic, or hit up the Cloisters Museum. I think the Cloisters is one of the best museums that not enough people know about. It showcases European medieval architecture, artifacts. It basically looks like a castle at the top of Manhattan. You've got to check it out. I love the Cloisters. I've been there so many times, but I've never really covered them extensively. It's definitely a spot to go. It's part of the Met. So if you buy tickets to the Met, you actually get a ticket to the Cloisters with it. So keep that in mind if you go to the Met. And if you are a New York City resident, it is pay what you wish to get oh, in. Oh, nice. Look at these insider tips right I try, here. I try. <laughs> now, one thing I haven't covered is actually the neighborhood I live in. It's Bushwick, and it's known for incredible street art. You have a whole guide to Bushwick. What do you love about Bushwick? I love so much about Bushwick. Obviously, the street art is the main draw if you're a tourist. You know, you could walk around some of their busy, busy streets, and there are murals everywhere. What I love about it is that a lot of these murals are actually sanctioned by the local businesses. So they want these works of art over their business doors, over the windows. It's so creative. And then even if you get away from the street art, that's a really cool neighborhood. They have some breweries there. They have one of my favorite night like venues in the city house of yes they have these amazing theme parties bushwick has so much going on a great place to go during the day and a great place to go at night too yeah definitely check it out especially if you're into art also really good for instagram photos if you want that perfect for sure. street art photo in new york city um i still haven't gotten mine yet even though i live there i don't know what i'm waiting <laughs> for to be honest with you soon to come Now, I love speakeasies. If you've seen my videos, you know I love Garfunkel's. But John here has covered a bunch more speakeasies that I have been wanting to cover, but I haven't gotten a chance to. Can you talk about some of the best ones you've been to? Well, you've got to get to all of these on the list, first I of know. all. Oh, my gosh. We're going to start with UES. Now, it looks like an ice cream shop on the outside to the point where if you walked into this place and you just ordered ice cream, you would have no idea that there is an amazing speakeasy bar hidden behind a door. You just have to say the magic words. Should I tell them the magic words? Yeah, what are they? I want to know. Tell me. <laughs> you have to say, can I see the storage room? Ugh. And they have kind of a strict dress code. See their website for more details, but the cocktails are excellent. It's got this Frank Sinatra sort of oh, theme to that's it. that's cool. cool. That's the first one. Uh, the second one I want to talk about is called the back room. And if you go when it's not too busy, they won't have a bouncer. Mm -hmm. So one time I went there and I had 
people looking at me, they, they said, like, are you sure there's a bar down that alley? It looks really creepy. You walk through yes. an alley, and then they have an actual prohibition bar. Literally, during prohibition, this was a bar people would go to, a legit speakeasy. So they play off that theme. Uh, they have paper bags as drinks. You put the drinks in there. They have uh, teacups for the drinks. Yeah, and, so fun. Yeah, and, and then the walls are really decorated old school. It's very dark. Probably the most interesting one, just if you want yes. that speakeasy vibe, I would check that you out. Know, they also do live performances there. They do. They Very do good reason to go. Experiences. There's a company called Speakeasy Dollhouse, and they do this really cool interactive theatrical show there. Um, that's that's where I first experienced it. It was amazing. That, yes, that that's that's a great point. I love their live acts there. Yeah. And the last one, speaking of live acts, is called Bathtub Gin. If somebody asked me where's my favorite cocktail in New York City, I'd say Bathtub Gin. I've really? yet to have I've yet to have a better drink than I've had a Bathtub Gin. Wait, uh, hold up. Have uh, you been to Garfunkel's? I have not. All right. We have to continue this because I need to figure that out. It's Challenge accepted. Yeah, please tell me what you think, but continue. Sorry. So yes, anyways, bathtub gin, named bathtub gin because it has a big bathtub in the middle. Drinks are amazing. I do recommend you make a reservation. Uh, it's inside of a coffee shop in Chelsea. They have special nights where they either have live music jazz or my favorite burlesque. For the burlesque shows, make sure you make a reservation at least a week in advance so you can get a better view of the performer. It is something else. Where do you find um, when their shows are? Uh, I believe it's Wednesdays and Sundays for the burlesque, okay. but their website has all the details. Okay. So check out their website. I'll have it linked below. There's one museum that you've talked about a lot in your videos, and that's the Transit Museum. I've never been there. What about it makes you so passionate about this museum? You know, I I've called it my favorite museum. I think it's one of the most underrated museums in New York City. It's just $10 admission. I think if it was in Manhattan, it would be super crowded all the time, but because it's in Brooklyn, a lot of people don't visit it. Uh, it is literally inside of an old subway station. That's the first really cool part. You walk in there and you are underground in a subway station and you can just see all these relics from New York's transit history, you know, old buses. My favorite thing, old subways. You walk inside, you could dress up. You talked about Instagram. Go dress up in 1920s, 1930s vintage outfits and take photos in there. It is probably the best Instagramable spot in New York City that most people would never think about. But if you're a history buff like me, just to see how transit has changed in New York, how it's evolved over time, and then you can even see exhibits from other cities, how they do transit. So if you're into that, you're going to love the Transit Museum. Is this also the one where you get access to the abandoned subway station? Uh, yes, you could do it through the Transit Museum. I believe you have to have a membership, and that's recommended because you'll get the full tour. Or you could do the, the cheap way where you ride the six train in Manhattan to the last stop. You kind of sneakily stay on the train and it wraps back around and it goes through uh, it goes through the old abandoned city hall station. It's fully lit, so you look out the window and nobody's there. It's kind of spooky. That's you expect really to see some cool. ghosts or something. Have you done that? I have done it. I did it for a video actually. Oh my gosh, I need to do it. <laughs> Another thing that I can't believe I haven't covered is Coney Island. I mean, what can you tell me about Coney Island? There's so much to say. It's it's just an awesome place. It, it's basically like the ultimate New York City place to go in the summer, especially if you're visiting and you've never gone before. Uh, the old school American boardwalk, you've probably seen it in movies and television shows. Go to Coney Island if you want to experience that. I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of hot dogs, but you've kind of got to go to Nathan's and go to the original Nathan's hot dogs and try one there. It's one of those things you've just got to say you've done in New York. Then, of course, they have the famous amusement parks there. Uh, they have the Wonder Wheel, which has been featured in so many movies. Also, Beyonce's music video. Beyonce's music video. Uh, you know, you can ride the wussy one, which is what I did, or the one that shakes back and forth, which I did not ride, but the views there are insane. Uh, they have the, the famous uh, wooden coaster. Name is escaping me Isn't right now. Isn't that one of the first roller coasters? Yes, yeah, one of the first roller coasters in the United States. The Cyclone, I believe, is the name. Yes, I think so. Because the Brooklyn Cyclones minor league baseball team, also something you should try. If you go there, check out a minor league baseball game. Just a good family-friendly activity to do if you're visiting New York. Yes. yes. As I was 
was exploring your channel a bit more, I discovered something that I have never heard of but looks super cool and I'm going next summer for sure. It's called City Island. Can you tell me a little bit about that? You know, that's the reaction a lot of people had to that video. Like, what is City Island? It, it basically doesn't look anything like New York City. It's in the Bronx. All the way at the top of the Bronx, it's this little stretch, this little island connected to the Bronx proper. And the downtown looks literally like a New England fishing village. And there's water on both sides there. It's super small, super cozy. They have a lot of antique shops. They have places you can see boats going. There's a very famous store there called 239 Play, which sells old toys, old cameras, old records, old CDs. I bought this bag of random stuff for $5. I think I still have it somewhere, but it was one of the neatest stores I've ever seen in New York City. And then there's a restaurant I recommend called Tony's Pier. One thing City Island's really well known for is their seafood. And uh, if you like fried shrimp, you'll, you'll be in good hands up there, trust me. So cool, I need to go there, seriously. You do, I'm, you do. I'm like at, that's like number one for next summer. thing that I've wanted to do for a while. It's called the Nostalgia Train and you did it. Can you tell me about it? Cause like, I really want to go. How can I do it? What is it? I need all the deets. You know, New York has Halloween. They have the Halloween parade. That's one excuse to dress up. The Nostalgia Train Ride is another one. I did it with my wife, Adriana, this past December. Uh, check the Transit Museum website. They will give you the exact times of when it's going to be arriving. And here's the trick, guys. You have to go to the first station that it's at, go 30 minutes early, and the trains are all open. So you can go, walk around, take photos, and there's gonna be other people who are dressed up from the 1920s, 1930s. I saw some incredible looking outfits. And then the best part is the train takes off. So imagine this, the train is 50, 60% full of people dressed up, and you start to pull up into regular stations in this old oh subway car. Everyone starts taking pictures of you. You feel like a celebrity. Dude, it, can regular people come on? Anyone, you don't have to be dressed oh, up. Okay. Anybody can go on, so don't feel oh. pressure to dress up. But it's one of those New York City moments I think everybody's gotta try it at least once. Yeah, did you dress up when you went? I dressed up. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see that. We're gonna have it in the video that I overlay, I know it, but wow, <laughs> so cool. Very cool. Another thing that's been on my list of things to do that you've covered is the Roosevelt Island Tram. This is a tram that goes to Roosevelt Island and it, it seems like you can see a really pretty view of the city. What, what's it all about? You can get absolutely phenomenal views. In fact, my insider tip would be to take it right around sunset. Oh. Uh, if you want to see the sun setting over the Manhattan skyline, super, super beautiful. Uh, you know, you, so for the cost of a subway swipe, you take the SkyTram, it takes about two to three minutes, oh. and it's absolutely incredible. So many people don't know about it. It's one of those little hidden gems of New York City, I would say. And not only do you get to Roosevelt Island, but there's actually some really cool things to do there. It's very small. Uh, you could just stroll around. You could take in very nice views of the east side of Manhattan. You could see an abandoned smallpox hospital. You could even see a little tiny lighthouse at the top of Roosevelt Island. You know, rent a bike, go around, perfect way to spend a couple of hours, especially if you've never been to New York City before. Have you made a guide to Roosevelt Island? I did one video specifically about Roosevelt Island, yeah. Okay, perfect. So I'll link that below. I've never been to Roosevelt Island. You need to change that. I know. Of all so the things, crazy. I think you should change that. Yeah, that's what I need to do that like first out of everything, for sure. <laughs> Well, you guys know I have my Secrets of New York tour, so I love finding those hidden gems, those secrets of New York. And uh, you taught me one, actually. It's something called Midnight Moment in Times Square. Yes, Midnight Moment, it actually happens a few minutes before midnight, every single night, guaranteed. It is the world's largest digital art display. And the amazing part about it is that when you're there, there's a lot of tourists who have no idea it's even going on. You have to look at all of the big billboards in Times Square and they'll have one consistent theme to them. I think the night we did it, it was some sort of a jungle theme. So just sit back, relax, you know, you have the bright lights and it feels like you have a secret art show all to yourself. 
That's so cool. It's very cool. I've actually haven't gone back in a while. I'm kind of motivated to go real soon. Yeah, I'll have to do that next time I'm into Times Square really late. Yeah, if you can't make it for New Year's Eve at midnight, do that. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably better, honestly. I, I, yeah, probably, a lot less people. Yeah, New Year's Eve at midnight, mm, you don't want to be there. <laughs> Check out my tourist traps video to see why that is. Ooh. Thank you, John, so much for sharing your wisdom with my <laughs> viewers. Now, if you guys want to see my version of this on John's channel, I talk about 10 things that he's never covered on his channel that I think are super awesome. So that will be linked below. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.